First of all, I, I like our compete level. Kids competed from start to finish. You know, we've got to work on execution. It's, it's early in the year, whether it's power play um, or just even five on five, just executing. It was a little frustrating at the end that we just couldn't execute. I, I give credit to Wisconsin. They you know, get some quick, quick skaters and some pretty smart individuals out there, but we've got to be better than that. And then, so I think in, in that we're, you know, we're happy with our compete level. I'm certainly not happy with it, with the loss. I, I just thought they were, you know, if we could have popped one earlier and maybe got a little more enthusiasm going offensively and, and, and uh, put more pucks on that, got to more rebounds, um, because I think it was a good night to, to go after them. I just felt we missed a good opportunity. So, um, yeah, the compete, compete level was really good, and I like that, and some kids that don't normally get much ice time, well, a lot of ice time tonight. So we went with 5D and basically played 10 forward. So, um, so a credit to them, and I think that's what happened in the end. We just started getting ran out of gas a little bit. But uh, so yeah, we got to learn from it. There's little parts of the game we have to get better at. But uh, I mean, if, if that's the number one team in the country, we've got to give ourselves a little credit here. And, um, you know, come a long way in one week. We we didn't perform very well last Saturday, so I was a little apprehensive of how how we were going to come out tonight. And um, I thought, all in all, we've got something to work with, and I think that that's that's really encouraging. And with our leader Steph out, one of our top defensive players out as well uh, in, in Dakota. So um, you know, I think we just have to move forward. I think we learned some lessons from tonight. And, uh, but that's why we play these games. I mean, it's good. I think it's a feather in our cap to get a team like Wisconsin in here for a, a weekend series and to be able to, to, to really work on our game and see what we have and just, you know, try to get better. And this is how you get better. Play teams like this. And, and you know, we, we were there right to the end, basically, a one nothing game. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how we, uh, you know, recover tonight and get ourselves prepared and come in here tomorrow um, hopefully with a fresh outlook. Uh, I mean, we got to score some goals in three games now, and it's pretty apparent you're not going to win a game if you don't score a goal. And uh, but that will come. You know, I think we're getting. We had some pretty good chances in all three periods, and now it's just a little bit better execution. We shot a lot of pucks. We did that last weekend too. A lot of pucks right in the goalie's bread basket. So, and I think some of that just comes with a little confidence and a little more playing time. Kids start picking corners. And, creating better rebounds where you know maybe somebody can jump on a loose puck so hopefully it's going to come what'd you think of miller's performance in that well she gave us a chance to win yeah from start to finish she gave us a chance to win and what i like about it she it wasn't a, a performance where she was flopping all over the place and just you know pucks were hitting her she was making saves and she was covering loose pucks and directing rebounds in the corner so that's what you like to see from your starting goalie. Yeah, she had to make a lot of saves, but they, they took a lot of shots and put a lot of pucks on that from the blue line. And I, I thought that it was, it was good. Our D were clearing a lot of second and third chances for them, but I thought Abby was very, very confident, and that's what you like to see. And so, uh, you know, she'll get the nod again tomorrow. Why not? And we'll see what she can do.